Hello, today we're going to talk about Newton's first law. So Newton's first law states that a body at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, and a body in motion will continue in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted on by an unbalanced force. So with this, it's the force that's the key to, key to this change. So it's going to either stay at rest without a force, or it's going to stay in motion without this force. Before we had Newton's uh, first law, the kind of reigning theory was Aristotle's theory of motion, and that stated that bodies are naturally at rest, and moving bodies will eventually return to rest if left undisturbed. Uh, it takes continued mo or sorry, continued motion requires continued action of a force. And this makes sense on Earth, where most things will eventually slow down. And so where these two theories agree is that objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted on by a force. So if we've got something like this rock, it tends to just sit there unless we put a pretty significant effort into moving this rock. Where they differ is what happens to these bodies in motion. So according to N Newton, they'll stay in motion unless we have this force acting on it. Uh, and according to Aristotle, eventually er everything will come back to rest. So... <clears throat> Friction is the key to this difference. Friction is a force that's constantly opposing motion. And so on Earth, where we've got lots of friction, uh, this force is causing the change in acceleration, or sorry, change in velocity, bringing objects back to rest. If we look at objects in space where there's very little friction, these objects tend to stay in motion. And so there's actually this friction force that's causing objects to come back to rest. Uh, and this is where Newton improved on Aristotle's theory. So another important thing to understand here is what I'm talking about when I say net force. So <clears throat> the concept of net force is the sum of all forces acting on the body. If we've got this rock here, we could say, you know, we've got gravity pushing down on this rock. Gravity has got probably a significant weight pushing down. How come the whole body is not just accelerating downward? And the reason is the sum of all the forces is going to be equal to zero. So we've got this gravity force pushing down, but there's also a normal force pushing up. These two are equal and opposite, so there's zero net force, or the sum of these two forces is going to be equal to zero. And we require a non-zero net force to change the velocity of the body. So similarly, we could have this book sitting here, and it's got a zero net force on it. So it's got some weight pushing down, uh, and I've got a normal force from my hand pushing it up. It's not until we change the net force to be non-zero, I can take away my hand, at that point, the body will go from being at rest to falling down and being in motion. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching, uh, and I'd like to see you in future videos. Thank you.